Hello and welcome to today's video where we're looking at rule 30. We're covering anchored vessels and vessels aground. As always we'll look at the rule itself and apply it with the help of a diagram. So straight in with paragraph A. A vessel at anchor shall exhibit where it can best be seen. In the forepart an all round white light or one ball. At or near the stern and at a lower level than the lights prescribed in the first paragraph an all-round white light. And we're going to go straight ahead with paragraph B as well because that links in with this and it says a vessel less than 50 meters in length may exhibit an all-round white light where it can best be seen instead of the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule. So all this says is if you're less than 50 meters you only need one light and you can put it where you like and if you're more than 50 meters you need two all-round white lights one forward one aft. In both cases, you're going to represent that with the day signal of one ball. So if we have a look over here at the diagram, we can see that this small vessel only has to have the one all-round white light where it can best be seen. And as soon as we increase that length up to more than 50 meters, we need to have two all-round white lights, one at the forward end, one at the after end, and the after end needs to be lower than the one at the forward end. Paragraph C says a vessel at anchor may, and a vessel of 100 metres or more in length shall, also use the available working or equivalent lights to illuminate her decks. So basically, if you're just greater than 100 metres, you have to have your deck lights on. If you're less than 100 metres, it's optional whether you have your deck lights on or not. Paragraph D starts to talk about vessels aground. A vessel aground shall exhibit the lights prescribed in paragraph A or B of this rule which is the two all-round white lights if you're greater than 50 metres, or the one all-round white light if you're less than 50 metres. And in addition to that, where they can best be seen, you need to show two all-round red lights in a vertical line, or by day, of course, three balls in a vertical line. So hopping over to the diagram, we can see if this vessel was aground, it's still got that anchor light forward and aft, but in addition, we just need these two all-round red lights wherever they can best be seen. Paragraph E, a vessel of less than seven meters in length, when at anchor, not in or near a narrow channel, fairway or anchorage, or where other vessels normally navigate, shall not be required to exhibit the lights or shapes prescribed in paragraphs A or B of this rule. So less than seven meters, you're exempt unless you're somewhere other vessels normally navigate. And finally, paragraph F, a vessel of tw less than 12 metres in length when aground shall not be required to exhibit the lights or shapes prescribed in subparagraphs D1 or 2 of this rule. So less than 12 metres, you don't need to indicate when you're aground. And that brings us to the end of rule 30. Hopefully you found the information useful. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.